Hello Taurus, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading. Somebody is pissed off. Let's see about. Uh, if still it seemed like somebody coming to in re a realization about something that they had to sacrifice, and they pissed off about it. But coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August seventh through August thirteenth, two thousand seventeen. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out of the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. Ooh, so somebody got some third-party baggage. And if you want a personal reading with me, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. I don't know if I said this, but make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's a whole bunch hidden from you, okay? Or are you hiding a lot? Okay, let's get this party started. What's going on for the Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. What's going on for the Taurus for the week of August 7th through August 13th, 2017? All right, guys, let's see what you're doing. What kind of stuff? So somebody's realization. Somebody's starting to realize the situation. What's really going on. What it really is. Alright. So it took some time for you to see what was going on. It wasn't like a light bulb thing. It was just like a gradual. Like oh. Okay. Alright. Oh. You know. That kind of feeling. So this might have something to do at work. Or it has something to do with somebody holding you back and they, you realize they holding you back other than protecting you. Or realizing they protect you instead of holding you. Either or. could go either way. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but are these baby cards coming out in every drawing? So this could be you might not be pregnant, but you are extremely fertile, so watch out for that. Yeah, okay, yeah, watch out for that. So, oh, I want to know what this is. What is this fertile card about for the Taurus? What is this fertile card about for the Taurus? Mm. Okay, so it, I don't know. It, it's making me seem like you you find you found out why, why you're not fertile. So, I don't know. So, maybe somebody you've been wanting to have a... Uh, a baby but you know people have been putting stuff in your drinks or or getting you to drink or do stuff or smoke like influencing you to do stuff that's gonna make you infertile or it could be your partner has been taking some kind of um birth control to not get pregnant and they didn't let you know because you know they just didn't they didn't want you to know Okay, so this, um, I'm feeling like this not being able to be pregnant or thinking you're not pregnant or just this whole situation has been sucking the life out of you emotionally. You're like, what's going on? You're starting to feel like there's something wrong with you. And then you start putting the pieces together like, oh, I get it. It's this, it's that, it's this, it's that, it's that. All right. Um, yeah, this. This really makes me feel like somebody has been giving you something. Yeah. Somebody's been giving you something. It could be stress, purposely stress, but it's like you didn't see this coming. It was like a shock when it started coming together. Jesus. All right. Ooh. Okay, so this makes me feel like your friends have been telling you that your partner doesn't want you. And even though you don't feel like this, you trust these people. So you've been listening to them and it's been causing you stress. Ugh. Mm. People can be so nasty, I swear. Okay, so right now you 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 find this self esteem in yourself. Uh, I don't see you getting rid of these friends. 
but they are beneath you in some kind of way, at least socially. But it's like you're starting to realize what's going on. So I feel like you're going to end up putting them where they go and you're going to end up making what you want happen. Like, okay, I'm not drinking, I'm not smoking, I'm not doing all this. You're trying to make something happen, even if it's not a baby. It could be like a job or um, buying a new home or buying a new car. It's like these people are really trying to stop you from doing that. Just like using anything, like, oh, let's go on a trip. Or just anything that you like, you want to do or you usually do to make you not be able to reach your goal. Or what you want to do okay so in some cases it might be a baby in some cases it might be just like luxury items did you want not not even just luxury so this basically saying you ain't been successful in this stuff and it's because of these surrounding energies mm. yeah you're trying to recover from something okay maybe you're trying to recover from some secret coming out so i'm feeling like maybe your friends told your partner something to shake things up maybe you guys are about to get married or or get a house together or something and you know somebody just doing a little sneaky stuff to stop stop your success all right so i read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message all right what's going on for the taurus 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 for the week of august 4th i mean 7th through all right what's this so this makes me feel like it, it could still be a pregnancy and it it's a new beginning, some kind of new beginning going on, okay? Okay, so yeah, some kind of... Could be just a new relationship, too. But whatever this is, you really care about it, and you got people trying to sabotage you of not getting it. Mm, I feel like in some cases, it's an ex trying to sabotage you, too. Taurus, 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 August 7th through 13th, 2017. All right. Mm, yep. Making you spend all your money so you can't get what you want. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're making you play. They're making you do, well, they're not making you. they just putting a whole lot of stuff that you like in your way so you can throw your money there and it stress you out. This makes me feel like they've been doing it for a long period of time. It may have something to do with Aries, but I... Maybe some kind of fire sign. But I feel like it's been a long process. I don't feel like this was just like an overnight thing. Every time you want to do something, they plan a trip, you know? Just to stop you from reaching your goals. They... Okay, so... The five of coins says money which is going out the house faster than it is coming in. You may need to borrow money to avoid unnecessary expenses. Right. Alright. Then you have the four of swords which says can indicate lack of sleep. Can show a need for time away from negative situation possible illness. So these people <laughs> are very negative. And then just being in your head about like oh i know i want to get this house but miami is so fun you know it's stressing you out that stuff really can hurt you put you in the hospital when you got like goals and stuff and then you got people influencing like peer pressure <laughs> influencing you to do bad things just so you couldn't do it and they use that you only live once thing and you end up you know blowing all your money here then you're gonna have the down payment for your house okay so we got seven coins, seven of coins reversed, right? It says, um, continue to work on your project. Remember that money can bring you great joy and great sorrow. The importance of money is freedom. Do let, not let the money imprison you. So it's, I mean, I think this is the in your head thing. You know, you got to relax and get out of your head about like, the whole situation because it's stressing you out you need a break right now and you need to take that break and then come back and think about what's going on but in reality the friends ain't no good you can go partying after you get your place or whatever you're trying to get you get your baby or whatever you know all right so the chariot reverse failure to control yourself physically and mentally that's basically like 
you know, that peer pressure. You got three or four people telling you, hey, come on, let's go party. And you know you should be saving up. So it's basically like um, it's time to uh, just break away from your friends to achieve your goals real quick. Because we don't, we don't achieve our goals as people. It lowers our self-esteem. And we feel like we can't do it even though we can. We just got to get rid of this negative energy that's this holding us from that but that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs be on a personal read check in the description box below other than that thank you guys for everything you do and have a wonderful week